When two teenage girls were found in their dorm room lifeless, it looked like they had taken their own lives. Well, it didn't take long for investigators to realize that they were dealing with a double homicide. 17-year-old Charnel Huff and 16-year-old Marna Engelbrecht were friends and roommates. They both attended Stella High School in Stella Northwest, South Africa. Their school was a type of boarding school, so the two girls shared a hostel, which is similar to a college dorm room. Chernell and Marna asked the hostel matron to keep the security gate unlocked that night. They told her a relative was dropping off their volleyball clothes. The matron agreed, and that was that. When the matron went to wake Chernell and Marna the following morning, she made a horrific discovery. Chernell was lifeless, hanging from the guardrails of the stairs. There was a rope hanging around her neck, and her feet were dangling above the ground. But this wasn't the only corpse that they found that morning. In the upstairs bathroom, Marna was discovered by police lying on the bathroom floor in front of the bathtub. Her backpack strap was tied tightly around her neck. Even though there was no sign of a break-in, the authorities knew that the security gate was left unlocked and suspected foul play. The medical examiner concluded that both girls had been strangled by hand. So the rope and the backpack strap were just a setup to throw the police off. Thankfully, the search for the perp didn't take very long. The same day Charnel and Marna's bodies were found, a guy named Xander called the police with a tip. He said he got a call from someone who said Charnel took her own life. Now, just to clear things up, the autopsy report weren't back yet, and the authorities still believed that they were dealing with a double homicide. So when they got this call, they were like, that's sus. The police set up an interview with Xander where he confessed to executing both girls. This confession was recorded, but a few hours after this confession, Xander tried to take it back. Xander claimed that the interviewers had manipulated him into confessing both slayings by threatening to execute his whole family. According to reports, at least six witnesses came forward saying they knew Xander had slain both girls. Xander was a 19-year-old boy and a former student at Stella High School. He dated Charnel for about a year, but she'd broken up with him about a month before the incident. Rumor has it, Xander had a very hard time getting over Charnel, which means that we have a motive. He was also known for having a bad temper. Xander reportedly sent several threatening texts to Charnel and Marna shortly before they were executed. In one of Xander's friends said, the suspect told him that he was going to make Charnel's life a living hell, leading her to take her own life. The other witnesses who came forward, backing up the Xander did it theory, claimed that they were with Xander that Friday night. He got super drunk and left the group heading for the hostel. From what investigators gathered, Xander snuck into Charnel and Marna's hostel, which wasn't hard since the gate was unlocked. He then squeezed Charnel's neck until she stopped screaming. But when he realized Marna was there too, he had to do something to her also. Xander didn't want there to be any witnesses. So he throttled Marna and staged both bodies to make it seem like a case of self-harm. With enough reason to believe Xander was guilty, the police charged him on two counts of homicide and set a trial date. Charnel and Marna's relatives held a joint funeral for the girls because they were such close friends. Both sets of parents said that they had a little bit of comfort knowing that their daughters weren't alone and that they would be going to heaven together. Once word had gotten out about Xander's charges, his mom, Mercia, did a few interviews claiming her son wasn't this terrible villain that the media painted him out to be. Newsflash, Mercia, I think you might have a bit of a skewed perception on your son because everyone else said the exact opposite about him. So Xander stuck with the claim that he was innocent, claiming the only reason he confessed at the beginning was because investigator Chris Saunders said that he'd execute his parents if he didn't confess. Apparently though, Xander's DNA was never found at the scene, which definitely complicates things. At the end of the trial, Xander was found guilty on both counts. He received two life sentences, one for each victim. Oh, and also get this, at the trial, Xander's dad literally slapped one of the investigating officers after the judge read out Xander's sentence. <laughs> Kinda seems like violence runs in the family. Thanks for watching, my name's Danny, I'll see you next time.